Well, what's going on guys, it's Brandon again, and today I'm back from my extended vacation. I've been out snowboarding and all that great stuff up on the mountains, but I'm finally back and I've had a boatload of questions about planes and some of my other videos. And one question that I decided to pick out was by James Polymer, and he wanted to know what do I prefer, the LA line or the Yak line in the Russian tree? Now, I'm going to show you some side-by-side -side comparisons of Yaks and LAs, and before I get started in this video, I would just like to say I'm going to hit up all the other comments and questions soon, and I will get back on track with my video making. So, let's go ahead and jump into this video, and let's see what we can uncover. Okay, so the first two planes we are taking a look at is the Yak-1B and the first LA-5. Now, we're going to be breaking this up into categories for arcade flight models. Now the first maneuver you see me doing here is the barrel roll, and rolling is a key feature for a plane to have. It can really get you out of a sticky situation fast, and this is one reason why I love the LA-5s. They're great rolling planes, and they're just great in that area. Now the next area we are taking a look at is the turning. The Yak one's hands down in this area. I feel when the full turns are done in the Yak, it feels more stable than the LA-5. This is probably because it doesn't roll as good as the LA-5, so it doesn't have that tendency to start rolling over. Now as you can see here, we are taking a look at loops. Again, the Yak wins at looping, which I adore planes that can loop, such as the P-36 Hawk. Another great way to escape situations. Okay, so the planes that we are taking a look at now that are going to be on your screen, and I'm going to be reading these from left to right, is the Yak-9T, the LA-5F, and the LA-5FN. Now, surprisingly, the LA-5FN rolls better than both the Yak-19 and the LA-5, now, why the LA-5 rolls like a yak, I don't know. It's something like worth looking into, but I can figure out why it does. Now, for a little shooting lesson, the LA's, of course, have better accuracy, I feel, when shooting them. That compared to a laser, but it's more comparable to the Yak-3's. Moving back into turning, once again, the yak prevails, turning quicker, followed by the LA-5FN, and finally the LA-5F. Again, the yaks feel more controllable and forgiving when going into an extended turn. This is one thing that I've just always loved about the yaks, and it keeps me coming back to them. Finally, moving into the final maneuver, the loop, the evidence comes in showing that the yak has a better loop time than the other two planes, which again, it feels more stable when going into loops and turns, just making it the better plane for maneuvering in this fashion. So let's go ahead and move into my conclusion and how I feel about the LA line versus the Yak line overall. Okay, so for my conclusion, right here this is an LA-7, but it performs much like the LA-5, so I didn't really talk about these. But for my conclusion, I figure that the Yaks are more for historical battles and I find myself using the LA's more in arcade battles because I just feel that, I don't know, I just like the LA's more. They just perform better for my taste in arcade and when it comes down to the hardcore battles and historical, the act just fits my style. It's just one of those things where you gotta find your style in these plans, what you like better, the rolling or the turning and the looping or just anything along those lines. So it's mainly just up to you guys about what you think of those categories. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video about LA-5s and 7s versus the Yaks, and I hope this was informative enough for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be coming out with some more videos possibly in the next couple days here, uh, maybe not tomorrow, but the day after that. So just been really busy trying to get caught up, gotta get caught up on my comments, and I still gotta make my new Ace Day video for the Brits. So I hope you guys will enjoy, I hope you guys will stay with me for the next video. My name is Brandon, and as always, have a nice day.